Hello again, I'm Joel Bartholomew. Since the start of the Affordable Care Act, a lot of doctors are coming face to face with the reality of our changing healthcare system. I don't know how many, but I'll bet a good number of them are not happy. A post on the Dr. CPR blog leads me to believe that. The people involved with the Dr. CPR blog identify themselves only as a group of physicians from Harvard University, the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, the UCLA School of Medicine, and Cedars Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. The anonymous blog post is titled Six Months of Obamacare and I'm Headed Towards Bankruptcy. The author is a California surgeon who passed up a full scholarship to MIT for computer science and instead went into hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt going to medical school. He admits he was a dreamer, believing that the sacrifices he made to become a physician would lead to a comfortable and fulfilling life, both financially and emotionally. However, he began to notice his earnings were declining each month, especially during the last six months since the inception of the Affordable Care Act. He analyzed his situation, and this is what he found. The requirement to have an electronic medical record system for his surgical practice will increase his overhead costs by 5%. This will translate into tens of thousands of dollars in lost revenue. He has seen his Medicaid patients rise by 12%, while the number of private insurance patients has declined by 22%. In terms of payment, three to four Medicaid patients equal the same amount he receives from a patient with private insurance. 20% of his referring doctors have left private practices altogether. Several who used to refer 10 patients a week to him on an average have already quit medicine. As a result, referrals of new patients have plummeted. Another 5% of his referring doctors have retired from medicine in just the last six months and they were young by most standards in their 50s and early 60s. 10% of his referring physicians no longer take insurance. Others have concierge medicine practices now. They see fewer patients, so their referrals have dropped. His emergency room on-call work hours at his local hospital have quadrupled with four times the number of uninsured patients that he has seen on call. He complains that he is collecting 75% less from the patient he sees through the emergency room panel. He foresees trouble ahead with nurse practitioners and physician assistants taking over the jobs of physicians to cut costs. In the last six months, he says a nurse practitioner misdiagnosed a complex toe fracture as cellulitis. A physician assistant failed to recognize a patient with classic stroke symptoms. He had to urgently operate on a child who had appendicitis misdiagnosed by a nurse practitioner as stomach flu and was given Pepto-Bismol. He had to re-suture complex wounds repaired by a physician assistant that should have been referred to a surgeon. And two different nurse practitioners hired by the hospital to perform breast cancer screenings repeatedly missed patients with stage three breast cancer. Finally, he says if the California anti micro law passes in November, he will be forced to close his practice. If it passes, it will raise the pain and suffering cap on malpractice cases exponentially. The rising liability from the proposed law and the rising medical malpractice premiums will wipe out his practice. If you're a physician in California or elsewhere, 
How well are you coping? Let me know. My email is Joel's blog, that's J O E L S B L O G, at globalmed.com. I'm Joel Bartholomew.